Hello and welcome. Welcome to day four of our Heal Yourself, Heal the World series. I hope you have been having fun uh, playing with the energies and playing with the journeys. Uh, the reason I use the word playing is because you, uh, it's about exploration. It's about exploring with childlike curiosity. So you open up your heart and then you begin to open up new possibilities. You're not caught up in all the details of adulthood and uh, you don't bring in all of your stress into the process. So uh, begin using that word more, you know, playing and exploring possibilities. That helps you to tune in to the cosmic energies and to nature at a deeper level. On day three, uh, I've taken you into the Amazon rainforest and I placed a, a healing wishbone there gen and generated a healing vortex. So uh, it'll often go back to that spot either you know, with the journey uh, when you watch it or on your own because you have done it once or a few times. So go there, um, connect with the healing wish vortex and then begin to place your wishes into the healing vortex. So today we will do the same uh, while we connect with your soul journey and I will connect you with some of the points of your soul journey that um, um, that are influencing you now and that needs healing. Okay, so when I um, take you into the journey, now I, I look at the information in the hologram. So it doesn't matter whether you're listening or watching live or are using the replay, or even if you join, you know, three years from now, you will still get the same benefits because what happens is in these journeys, it can connect with you in real time. And then you become like a mathematical variable. So my background is computer science and math. So I play with all these energies and uh, codes. So you become a variable and the energy and information and the journey solves for the variable, which is you. So that's why you get the same benefit regardless of when you connect. Let's begin our day four journey for bringing healing for your soul path. Gently close your eyes, focus on your heart, and begin to breathe in and out. Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow those energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to spiral through you up and down. And gradually notice your sensations as they get stronger.
Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently. Let us now journey into the Amazon rainforest. Let's approach the area with the healing wish vortex. Notice your sensations. Notice the environment. Notice the ground you're walking on. Notice the trees, the plants, the flowers. Notice the birds. Notice the waterfalls and the streams. Notice the emerald green spiraling energies coming from the healing wish vortex. Simply tune in, keep breathing in and out deeply and gently in receiving healing energies that you need. Notice the healing vortex sending you spiraling Raise. Notice where in your body they go into.
I will now run a scanning of your soul journey for the events that are connected with you now that cause you any kind of disharmony which needs healing. Any physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual healing that you may need from some of those events are getting highlighted now. I will retrieve the lessons you needed to learn and I will help you integrate those now. Continue to allow the healing vortex energies to spiral through you. And I will also send those out to those events from your soul journey that need healing.
Continue to breathe in and out, deeply and gently. Let's harmonize the energies for you. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Let's express our gratitude to the Amazon rainforest and to all who helped us today.
Let's journey back to your present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. In the next 24 hours, let's listen to the journey multiple times if you can and continue to play with a lot of the holographic tools and programs so they help you to rewrite the information in your field, in your matrix and for your, uh, help you to align with a different level of consciousness. So the more you play with these energies, the stronger your field will become. So thanks for joining. On day five, we will focus on shifting a lot of the manipulation energies on the planet. So we will focus on global healing and sending out a lot of the uh, wisdom uh, energies for people to rise up and rise up above fear and any kind of uh, control and domination energies. So, you know, let's focus on empowering everybody, empowering ourselves and empowering humanity and all life on earth. So thanks for joining. Have a magical rest of your day and I will see you for day five.